Howdy guys, everybody knows what that is. That's a Glock 19. This is a Generation 3 Glock 19. It's my very first gun. I love this thing. It's reliable as heck. I'll make sure it's safe. <laughs> reliable as heck. Easy to use. Point and click system. It's got some night sights on this one. Extended uh, uh, slide release for my lefty uh, use. And it's a lead in to something I got in the mail. Let's see if I can zoom in this. Here you see uh, Made in Austria, Glock, Made in Austria. Well, I got something else that's Made in Austria. Looks kind of like this. We're going to do an unboxing now. Put that aside. Chamber. There's no round in the chamber. Alright, a lot of you guys also know what this is. Pez. It's a childhood candy favorite. Um, I picked up one from Ace, the friendly place. It's a hardware store. If you have one in your area, Little known fact, you can't find ammo at Walmart right now. I hate to be breaking the news to everyone because everybody's going to rush out to the local Ace and I won't be able to do it, but a lot of the Ace stores, they do sell firearms and ammunition. In fact, the one up the road from me, I can still find 22 long rifle there. Alright, well, if you haven't seen one of these, this is pretty simple. Usually instead of a, a truck... There's usually some sort of figure here um, with its head. And you load these candies into the uh, into the truck. Uh, let's see if they're done the same way. Yep. So you extend the, uh, the magazine. It's kind of appropriate to be calling it that. And uh, let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh boy, these candies look pretty old. I bet they've been sitting on that shelf for a while. We'll only load a couple of them. How about that? Alright, so you load the candies in. Make sure that the uh, the magazine is slammed home. And now wherever you want a candy, tilt the head forward and treat yourself. Alright, so cool. You know what Pez is. This literally showed up on my doorstep today. So we're going to do an unboxing. Mini Barrage, I love this knife. How many times can I see that? Now this was probably one of the, uh, the not-too-smart ideas of Pez. So it's out of production. Now I bet some of you have already guessed what it is at this point. Oh, lovely. Pink peanuts. Wow, that's why that's why shipping costs so much. There it is, here it is. This. This is pretty amazing. Mm -mm. If we look here at the bottom, let me see if I can focus in on that. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It does say made in Austria, just like that Glock did. Right underneath the word Pez. This is the Pez gun. Alright, not sure exactly how it works. Oh, there's the magazine. There's Magazine button doesn't work. Slot doesn't work. Trigger does, I'm sure. And the idea was, <laughs> oh man, I can't believe they made this. Uh, you, you wouldn't get away with this nowadays. Here, let's get back into focus here. Zoop. Uh, let's try these raspberry sweets. I'm not quite sure how to do it. Uh, you guys get the get the drift of what I'm trying to do. It is spring loaded, just like the uh, the regular Pez was. Oh dear lord! Who knew candy was so complicated? All right, we'll load that many for now. All right, let's see if this thing works. Now uh, I don't know if you have to cock it or what. Good. Oh shoot! Apparently not. So, you stick the gun in your mouth, pull the trigger, 
and it shoots a delicious treat into your mouth. It's important not to get these two Austrian guns confused. Shouldn't be too hard. This one's black. This one is a red and yellow, or a red and white, orange and white. God, that's neat. Let's try that again. Hold a gangster style. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious death. Anyway, they actually made a version of this that had a black coloration to the, the slide, the frame, and had faux wood or brown plastic grips. That, I'm sure, looked really, really uh, authentic. Those are a little bit more expensive. This is kind of neat to have. You know, just like in the history of bad toy ideas. Plus, as a gun collector, you know, it's, it's you know, a gun collector and a person that, I guess, likes candy. This really hits home. Now, let's try one more time. So, the hammer doesn't lock back. This is double action only. <laughs> no safety. Well, there's a fake safety on here. Apparently, they didn't, weren't too worried about the lefties. This looks almost like some sort of Walther. Um, I think that's probably what they're going for. Anyway, the color scheme kind of reminded me of a new gun I just got. Uh, it's not Austrian made. I'll put this aside for a bit. But it's about the same size. So we have a, a white and a orange here. We have a stainless steel and a red here. This is one of the carries I'm trying to experiment with. The mag release has been moved to the left-hand friendly side. What is this thing? I mean, look at that. Look at the small profile on that. Here, let's get next to the Glock. A lot smaller, right? In terms of thickness, look a lot thinner. They're both 9mm. This is the Boberg XR9S, S for short. They also will be making a, or I think they've made an L, which is a longer version of this. But I mean, if this is your trigger here, well, let's make sure we're safe. Yeah. If this is your trigger right here, I mean, if some of you put your finger on the uh, trigger guard, you know, you're out, getting awfully close to that muzzle right there. I mean, it's just such a small gun. And what's neat, this thing is actually a bullpup pistol. In other words, there's a device in here, I think they call it like the claw, and it actually pulls a bullet out of the magazine and raises it and shoves it into the barrel. And I actually have a couple of snap caps here. So, I mean, you all are familiar with the Glock, where it'll slide the bullet off of the magazine and into the barrel. This one is so counterintuitive. You load the magazine with the bullet facing into it. You know, right? Seriously, you do that at the range, the range master is going to think you're nuts. Oh, stop, stop, stop. You know, you're doing it all wrong. Oh, no, sir. This is a Boberg. So, when that's in place, you pull the magazine in. I mean, the slide back, it grabs one of those rounds, lifts it up on a cog, slams it into place, and there you go. Double action only. One of the things I don't like, do you hear that little twang? There's a bit of a twang on this thing. I mean, this thing is incredibly well put together. There's lots of parts, cogs, slides, everything else in this thing, and it's they're all just properly machined. I mean, it fits together like a, a nice timepiece. But the... I don't know if it's the spring for the uh, the hammer or what, but twang. I don't know if that's something I have to call them about. And apparently it doesn't like snap caps either. This The problem with this thing, this is finicky on ammo. It's a neat idea. I mean, the idea is it's going to pull the ammo out of the magazine and insert it into the, ma into the, uh, the barrel. Let's see, we try that again. Bam. There we go. Bam. There's the twang. But I mean, look at the low profile. You're holding this thing, and you know, it, it doesn't look like you're holding very much. Now, it does not have a slide lock. And uh, so after the last shot, you do have to uh, re rack it again. Uh, it is. As I said, double action only. 
And what's kind of neat, a uh, small company, they, they sell a lot of interchangeable parts right now. That's probably going to change down the road when these things get more marketed and other uh, folks out there are going to start making their own parts. Right now, I mean, you can swap out a ton of things on this thing your own. For instance, this came with uh, black grips, and they have grips for, you know, under, I don't know, 20 bucks. You can change them out, change, get different colors on here, customize this a little bit. Thinking about actually uh, painting these myself. But, I mean, what a neat little gun. Now... I still love my Glock. My first gun, the one I've played around with the most, and it's definitely not going to ever be sold or given away. Um, you know, I, I keep hearing great things about the Gen 4. This Gen 3, though, it's, you know, it's, it's family. It's kind of funny to think of guns as family, but, you know, well, there you go. But uh, this is Boberg, huh? What a weird, weird idea. I mean... There it is, the grabbing the bullet and popping it up into the chamber. Huh. Anyway, if you guys actually, one uh, one little tip here. Uh, oh, I'd better not be playing around with this loaded magazine. That's a dumb idea. One little tip here with this Glock here. Uh, you ever shooting at the range and you're firing and things just aren't going the way. And then you start to notice that you're doing a lot of flinching, right? And it's hard to catch yourself flinching sometimes or what they call anticipating. You know, in your uh, in your magazine every now and then, Put your normal uh, target rounds, but slip in or have someone slip one of these in. You know, have them not tell you where it is, which round number it is, but have them slip in a, a snap cap. You'll be firing away, firing away, and then uh, you notice you're anticipating. And it's that snap cap. It kind of helps you see these things. So these things, you know, aside from just training with on how to load the guns, unload the guns, they also work really great at the range to help you fix those anticipation uh, problems. Anyway, I just thought I'd... So you especially this unboxing. I do like this Pez thing. Good lord, one more time, one more time. <laughs> uh, you know, I make it a point, never even play around with pointing a gun at myself, loaded or unloaded, or even a toy, so I would not actually shoot this into my mouth. But, <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking of back in the day, but I guess uh, gun safety wasn't at the front of their thoughts. Alright, take these guys. Ciao!